Hello everyone. So <laughs> sorry I'm not in the video, but I am still in my jammies and I just didn't feel like changing into real clothes yet. So <laughs> here we are. And um I want I wanted to make a video because I just actually found this in my room. I forgot about ordering this. I ordered about a month ago or so and I got it and apparently I put it in a laundry basket instead of putting it in my craft room and I just found it now and was like oh my god I have some surrey fiber for that wig I wanted to make <laughs> so yes I I had been wanting to make my nannery 14 a wig for a very long time and I wanted it to be out of out of a pack of hair really really badly I don't know why so I decided to look into it and while I'm not really good at making wigs I really did want to try and make this one for her instead of buying one so I'm going to give it a try I have two ounces here it's about five inches in length which is sh I think shorter than I want it to be but we'll see how it looks when I start working with it it looks like a lot of hair but Mm, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure how much is needed for a wig at all. You know, so it varies per person. So I just, I went with this for right now. And we'll see what happens. And they say it's uh, pre-washed. I ordered from here. If you can see that. Yeah, you can. And I ordered from here. And they said it was pre-washed and everything. But I did get this apparently <laughs> I even forgot I had this which was in my craft room but whatever I'm just all over the place mentally I guess lately but I bought this because a while back I had watched Andrea's uh, like tutorial on cleaning alpaca hair and she used a completely different project that I uh, project wow product that I just can't seem to find. I don't know if it's because I I live in the States and it's just impossible or it's something that's at a specialty store that I, I'm not aware of or it could even be in a special section at the store since it seems to be an all natural product but I'm not sure. So I just got something similar and I hope it is correct. <laughs> I will give it a try if it goes horribly wrong I will let you know so that you know not to get this so <laughs> wish me luck on that one and the other thing I wanted to show you it while I focus on this light <laughs> is I wanted to show you a fail I did that I haven't shown anyone I was talked about it on tumblr but I did not actually take a picture of it Basically, I tried to enter Dana Vigil's triathlon for their anniversary, and I tried to do the first step of the triathlon, which was make a wig. And I had this idea come into my mind, which never happens. And I decided to try and make it, and it went horribly wrong. So let me show you. <laughs> Ta-da! So this is... Bellevue, excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I said the, <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyway, this is Bellevue, my mini feet, Chloe, and this is the horrible wig I made for her. <laughs> As you can see, oh, it's so bad. <laughs> and you also caught a glimpse of something else I need to show you. If you were paying attention to this. <laughs> but I'll do that after I show you this horrible thing I was trying to make. So what I was trying to go for is the complete opposite of this. <laughs> and basically what I was doing, I printed out the pages of the uh, Frankenstein. I printed out those pages. And what I was going to make is the the hairstyle of the Bride of Frankenstein <laughs> or from the movie Bride of Frankenstein or whatever. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> anyway, I was trying to make the Monster's Bride the hairdo, but it did not go well at all. And then I kind of just lost my mind and added the bangs in front. Like, I just kind of went, whatever, I'll just do whatever. So this is what I came up with. And I was so disappointed with it that I haven't like 
put her back in her actual clothes and everything. <laughs> I was just, uh, I was so upset. I just put it aside. But now I, I can look at it and think it's really funny. I mean, I, I just couldn't, I think the problem is, is I just, while the idea I feel was solid, I went about the wrong way. So, and the reason why it was solid, just in case you're like, why Frankenstein? Is that she is based on Frankenstein's monster, pretty much. Um, she had died and was put back together through, through different parts. At one point, I want to put stitches on her body. Though I'm just really too afraid to do that and I really don't like to do body blushing because it makes me not want to touch my dolls pretty much. So, <laughs> But um, that's who she's based off of. She was put back together and used as an experiment basically to see, you know, I put this person back together and I brought them to life and can I take then turn that person I brought back to life into a vampire and that was an experiment done to her and it succeeded and it's kind of rough how she feels about it right now um she didn't yeah it's it's a lot and I really want to write that out one day just basically how she feels about the whole situation because like that's a lot to go through to die come back and die again essentially you know so, it's Frankenstein is a very important story to her, and I really wanted to give her like I some iconic hair to represent how important that story is to her. But it didn't work, so that's okay. <laughs> I will try. I feel like trying again, but I'll have to use different materials or figure out a way to use the same material in a different way. I think part of the problem is the strips are too thin but I don't know I'll figure it out hopefully <laughs> and the last thing I want to show that I said you got a glimpse of earlier is that my calliope came in she came in and she's freaking huge and she is so pink like oh my god she is so pink like for some reason <laughs> like I, I just didn't quite realize in my brain how pink she was and from the pictures. I mean, there's so many pictures of her you think my brain would have wrapped around it. But you know how sometimes you think it's just someone's camera or something? But yeah, she's very pink. It's not a pink I like. <laughs> uh, it's, it's a weird, what do I want to say, Pepto-Bismol pink? But... At the same time, she has a charm to her that I really like. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I really, I really, for some reason, like her. I'm, I'm very charmed by her. And uh, I saw some of the comments on my last video, which I never got emailed, so I didn't even realize I had them. <laughs> but I saw one that said, "You do need acetone to take off their faces." And I'm super glad I saw that because I don't know I could have ruined her. <laughs> and I also heard that Purity Seal, which is the sealant I use, is sticky on on their faces because they're made of vinyl, but works in the body because it's hard plastic. So I ended up buying, um, what's it called, Tester's Dol Dolco again. And man, that took me back and made me really nostalgic for the beginning of the hobby of me being a BJD hobby, that is, um, because that's the first sealant I ever used. And I just got really nostalgic. It was so funny because I, I remember finally using that and being really excited to get the supplies to do face ups. And I don't know, it just took me back to the beginning of the hobby and... I don't, I'm, I'm very just glad to be in this hobby, <laughs> like a hobby of dolls. I mean, at this point, it's going to be like a hobby of all sorts of dolls. I feel like just getting into any doll I want to, <laughs> but all together combined, it's just this 
thing of dolls that I've found and that I really, really like and appreciate in my life. <laughs> it sounds really sappy and I'm sorry, but it's so true and just thankful for it and really glad. And I, I'm excited that it keeps me inspired even when I feel like I'm not inspired. You know what I mean? Like I can at least think of a name or an outfit or some eyes it keeps my brain working and keeps me feeling along that path of like artisticness I like being on <laughs> so I don't know I just it brought up a whole lot of feelings <laughs> it's really dumb um but it's it's actually true but I should stop rambling because right now I want to first of all open her I'd open her on camera but it's messy to open these dolls. Like, I hate opening, um, like, off-the-shelf dolls because they're always so tied down and you have to, like, rescue them from all, all the string and it's horrible. <laughs> and I also, real quick, want to make her a, like, a, like, crop, not crop top, I want to say, but, like, a real easy top and sweater thing. They're, they're real simple pieces to make so I'm gonna make them for her real quick as an apology for this abomination on her head <laughs> so um I'll probably actually record the results of her being freed and her being redressed in not plastic wrap so uh see you in the next video I guess I hope <laughs> bye everyone and thank you if you listen to me ramble and don't fall over your stomach <laughs> bye